now across Texas. The issue is. I'm Greg Grugan in Houston. I'm Stephen Dial in Dallas. And this is Texas. The issue is. North Texas Congressman Colin Allred is preparing to leave his Democrat friendly seat in the House to go statewide, challenging Ted Cruz for the U.S. Senate. Allred has flipped his red seat to a blue seat and he thinks he can do it statewide. I went one on one with him during the annual Juneteenth walk in Fort Worth. Hey, hello, Senator. Congressman Colin Allred met with supporters in Fort Worth during the annual Juneteenth walk with Opal Lee. She was instrumental in having Juneteenth recognized as a federal holiday in 2021. Ted Cruz, we got to get rid of him too. We got to get rid of Ted. Yeah. That's what you're running for, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you think we don't know? We've been following. I know. The 40 year old former NFL athlete is now in his third term in Congress. In May, he announced something bigger that he's running for the U.S. Senate. Better O'Rourke was the closest to do it. What sets you apart? You're trying to appeal to um, you know, Republicans and independents. What makes you different than Beto O'Rourke or any other Democrat yeah. running against Ted Cruz? Well, I think we know as Texans uh, that we can't t afford to have another term of, of Ted Cruz representing us in the Senate. And that's really what it's about. It's not about the presidential race. It's not about past races. This is about me versus Ted Cruz. We know we can't count on him in a crisis. He went on vacation during our freeze. And he's one of the people who tried to lead the insurrection on January 6th. So I think that's not the Texas that I know. You flipped a district, yep. uh, but now you're taking it statewide. That's yeah. a big difference. What changes yeah. now for you? Well, not much, actually. It's the same approach. It's trying to get, uh, you know, bring folks together to try and get more people involved in our democracy because, you know, I was a voting rights lawyer, and I think you know that matters to me. I want to see us increase our voter turnout. But it's also about you know, getting folks who maybe don't see themselves reflected in this version of the Republican Party or certainly don't see themselves the same way Ted Cruz represents them. Give them a chance to vote for somebody like me. Do you think the Biden administration has done enough in reference to fixing the problem, the surge at the border? Well, my family's from Brownsville. My grandfather was a customs officer after the Second World War when he fought in the Navy. I know that our border communities have deserved more support over multiple administrations because this is not the first time we've seen surges of migrants coming to those communities. And it's often been the case that the federal government has not done enough. But it's also true that for 10 years, Ted Cruz has been in the Senate. He's done nothing to fix this problem. It's not just a, a situation where you go to the border and point out problems and, and, and act like you're on a safari. You're a legislator. You're in the United States Senate pass legislation to actually deal with this. What should the Biden administration be doing different on the border if you could come up with a suggestion? Well, honestly, they need to have uh, more resources to put in our border communities to deal with the surge. We need to process people faster. The asylum process is entirely too slow, but some of it also is on Congress. Our immigration system is broken and there's only so much any administration can do. Just saying that you're going to build a wall is not a solution. Yes, we have some physical barriers there. We want to channel folks to ports of entry, but that's not a solution to our immigration system. It's much more complicated than that. Allred says he is willing to work across the aisle. He pointed out Texas's senior Senator John Cornyn has tried to do that. John Cornyn has voted for and was one of the main proponents behind the Chips and Science Act. It's going to help our uh, scientific economy here. Uh, he was a big proponent of the first time in 30 years we passed gun violence prevention legislation. He's actually tried to do things. He voted the other day not to have us default on our debt. Ted Cruz did not. Do you think inflation is due in part to Democrats spending too much money? So it's not based on just our policies. Uh, certainly uh, some of it uh, has to be with supply chain disruption, cost of labor increasing, folks changing where they work. All these things have contributed to it and some long-term trends that have come together. One of the biggest drivers right now is housing and the cost of housing. That's a long-term trend that's kind of come to a head during the pandemic. That's one of the things I want to help us address. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. All right, my word to describe that interview, uphill. Greg, what do you say? Steven, I'm catching your drift. My word is underdog.